Hello guys and welcome to the vlog. Well done, Dolly. Um, today I'm here with my lovely horse, Dolly. He is four years old this year and I, he's been riding like three or four weeks now. So he's been going really, really well. He's very chilled, laid out guy, but I thought we needed something to work towards. So I've decided to do a dressage test with him today. So I'm gonna be doing a dressage test with dressage riders online. Um, I did a video on this before. I um, I did a test on my other horse. We did, um, oh God, the levels again. <laughs> I did novice and something else um but today we're going to be doing intro which is just a walk and trot test because obviously he is only just a baby and we don't want to be pushing him too hard but at the same time it's nice just having something to work towards and we can do it here at home so it's not a really big deal and then so yeah so basically i'm just going to film my test um today my mum is going to stand at a or c I'll, I'll figure it out in one second. I'm okay. I, I really don't know much about dressage, guys. I am show sure jumper through and through. I can do the dressage bit, but the whole rules and like um, about competitions and stuff, I don't know so much about. So, um, look at him. You're so cute. You're so cute. He is such a sweetheart. Um, so basically my mum's gonna stand um, where the judges would stand and film my test and then I upload it and send it on to them and then I get my mark and maybe a rosette, Dally, but only if you're good. <laughs> and um, yeah, we got our score back and everything like that. And yeah. And they also have like a league going on. So if I place in the top, I think six, I get to qualify for the final. And then there's like a, um, a seasonal final and stuff. It's really, really fun. But unfortunately he is going to be going on a break very soon because I'm back to college tomorrow. Um, so we won't be able to do too much more, but it's still a good start and a good thing to work towards. So without further ado, I'm going to get him tacked up. And we're going to get going. Oh, you're so annoying. <gasps> Don't bite me. You're so cute. <laughs> Stop. So here is the dressage arena all laid out. Each of those wings is a marker. Um, and I also have the, the letters next to it. And yeah, I had a little practice yesterday um, and he was a good boy. So you ready to go again, Dally? Good boy. So Dali is ready now. He doesn't look very excited, but <laughs> good boy. Are you ready to go dressaging? This could be your new career, huh? Everyone thinks the saddle looks so small on him and they're so right. He is just so huge and he has this big belly as well. So it doesn't help. But um, <laughs> there's no point buying him a saddle when he's gonna change shape so much. He's only a baby. Right, you ready? Also, how nice are these gloves? Mackie sent them to me for Christmas. They're the SSG and they are so gorgeous. What do you think?
so I just finished the test and he was an excellent boy. Unfortunately, we had to do it quite a few times because my mom and technology don't mesh too well and she gets really stressed because in fairness I'm not the most patient person in the world with people so I don't really blame her but um yeah we had to keep stopping in the middle and like the sun was like in my mom's eyes and she couldn't like see the screen and the video camera like was zooming in and out too fast and stuff so we had to use our my phone unfortunately like the quality isn't as good on my phone and um, i love my new camcorder that i got for christmas but um it's fine because my, my dad's well used to using it and stuff my mom just never used it before so that's why we had to use my phone but it all ended up well um obviously not perfect but um i was happy with him he was very obedient very listening to me and like very soft and in on the bit and stuff so look it's as good as i can ask to a horse that's literally broken four weeks i think now or five if even i rode him for the first time on christmas eve so i think that can tell you how many days he's been in work um but yeah he's absolutely an absolute saint he really is and he's such a trier i love him so much um so basically the plan with him now is that i'm going back to college and um i can't really ride the horses while i'm at college because up in, i'm like live in Dublin not at home for college and stuff so um these next two weeks I get half day on Friday so I'm hoping my dad might lunch him on a Thursday and then I'll ride him a Friday Saturday and Sunday for the next two weeks but then the four weeks after that are really like intense um like my the rotation that I'm on I study veterinary if anyone doesn't know and I'm in final year so we're like in the hospital and on different rotations so the four weeks after that are like really intense and I'm on like on call at the weekends and stuff so I won't be riding any horses for those four weeks so sad um but then after that I have two weeks of like a somewhat easier one that I'm gonna bring Cal back into work during so yeah two weeks of Dali four weeks off and then Cal starts back into work which is so exciting I missed him so much um we have big plans for this summer with Cal and Dali, there's a new um, young horse uh, kind of tour in Ireland and it's a really like reasonable height for the horses though six Cal is a six year old and he has to jump 125 I think it's the final and he jumped 120 at the end of last year so he's so ready for that and the four year olds which would be for Dali is only 80 centimeter to I think the very final is a meter so it's really like very reasonable in the, in the final is at the end of the year so you work towards it and each um, month the classes get a little bit bigger so I think it's a perfect um, for young horses and for my horses because like if I want to be doing the proper age classes like for the Dublin Horse Show and stuff like they really need to be going to shows already and with college it just is impossible like the qualifiers for the Dublin Horse Show are during my exams and stuff so it just it'll never work unfortunately well maybe when I graduated but um but yeah it's great to have another like league and stuff to aim towards so that is the plan so when i ride him at the weekends the next two weekends i'm gonna flower work friday saturday and maybe give him a little jump on the sundays just to kind of get him more into the jumping frame of mind because i think his flat work is very reasonably good you know like he's very balanced he listens he turns he's very easy to be honest <laughs> he's just plodding along now like on loose rein he's such a sweetheart so i'm very hopeful that um once you have the basics, the jumping is much easier to start with. So yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh wait, this video is not over. I haven't got my results yet. <laughs> Never mind. I will see you in the next clip, which will be a few, um, maybe a week from now when I get my results and I will let you know how we did. See you guys. Hey guys, so I got my results. It is now two weeks later. I got my results a little while ago, but it's just taken me a few days to get this video um, sorted. So I will kind of go through the results with you. Um, my percentage overall was 61%. Um, we did get mostly sixes. We got a seven for our haul to the end um, and then a 6.5 for our entrance and a few other 6.5s, but mostly sixes. Um, kind of like, I did kind of hope for like a little bit more, but I guess you do have to kind of have reasonable expectations when it is such a young horse. Um, a lot of the comment, well, basically the main comment was that his pull was too low and that is completely fair enough. So obviously when I start um, a horse under saddle, I like them to be kind of low and long and low and stretching out to build up the muscle so that they're, they're, 
so that they are then strong enough to hold them into hold themselves in a proper frame. This takes time. You can't get on a horse and it'll just hold itself in a per perfect like a dressage frame straight away. So it is completely fair enough. Um, his pole is too low, but for the stage of his training, there's just no way for me to put him into this outline. It just wouldn't be fair on him. He's not strong enough to hold that. So that's just going to take time as he strengthens up. Um, what other? Yeah, it's pole dropping low. Um, the free walk, he got a six. Uh, needs to bring the contact more forward, more over tracking, lengthen the stride. And again, he doesn't really know how to, sh how to lengthen and shorten. When I put on leg to him, that just means really go forward. So if I put leg on when he walks, he will trot. Um, so I was kind of trying to find that happy medium in the free walk. Um, but it's hard it's something you need to track practice and train them to do and yeah it'll come in time as well um and then yeah our halt was fairly straight and square and then the comment was that he is an attractive horse with clear potential just needing to step through more from behind and through to a secure elastic contact for better connection and balance to improve the overall picture and develop better suppleness for higher marks so like really really good feedback and it's so nice to have something to work on now and to kind of for our next test i know what i'm going to try and do to get a few higher marks um and yeah overall it was a good experience for him and for me and it's always nice to get some feedback from obviously like proper um, british dressage um judges british dressage british dressage judges and um, that obviously know what they're talking about so it's nice to get that feedback um so yeah that is it for the video if you guys want to enter um dressage riders online you can use my code holly20 for 20 percent off i don't get anything for that it's just so that you can guys can get 20 percent off if you want to enter um i highly recommend it um oh i never even told you where he placed he came fourth <laughs> out of about 10 ish people i think so that was pretty good like um not bad for a horse five weeks broken so our rosette is in the post and will be arriving soon so you'll get a little picture on my instagram of dally and his rosette hopefully um and yeah absolutely delighted so let me know if you're gonna enter and um how you think dally did and i will see you next time bye guys